Daryl comes from a very different background, an awesome one. So um, I've been in the dairy business for all of my career. Uh, everything from having my own business, manufacturing ice cream, to working at major dairies, uh, commodity buying. I've been doing business in the Midwest, moved to New England. Uh, then I went down to Florida probably 18, 17 years ago, uh, built a, a dairy manufacturing uh, facility in Tampa, um, and had another ran another business uh, for a, a, a guy um, in Tampa called uh, Old Meeting House. Sold that, and uh, so almost five years ago, um, decided to go into my own consulting business for startups um, or uh, folks that wanted to know how to take their product from the kitchen to the to the uh, commercial marketplace. And wow. so that's been working out very well. And then um, I met Julia back about when I started. Uh, and then so we've been talking um, pretty much every every week for the last uh, almost five years. About a year ago, maybe a little bit less, I uh, had a project with a gentleman up in Oregon that wanted to make THC-infused ice cream. So I saw the opportunity, so I talked to Julia, we created the THC Foodie, and the initiative is to educate people on good manufacturing practices. So I might get into the philosophies of a responsible uh, dosage of THC in a serving. At the end of the day, where what my purpose is, is to create an efficient, legitimate, licensed processing plant that is recognized by the Department of Agriculture and so that they can make some consistent, clean products um, and sell them in, in whatever state that they're in. So that's kind of as a collaborative what we're doing now. Do you have a product or business you want to share? We want to know what you have to say. Leave us a comment on our website at thethcfoodie.com or on Twitter at SafeTHCFoods.